understand Portuguese. Do you understand that? Do you understand I don't understand Portuguese? speech I just gave at City Council is it's now 72 days till I file a lawsuit against the City of Gulfport and Nova City Yanko and to, to Chief Vincent and Gulfport Police. I then commenced to tell how Chief Vincent is destroying video evidence. He's destroyed your body-worn camera evidence. Isn't it a small coincidence that your body-worn camera was destroyed when I have body-worn camera evidence of you saying I'm turning off my body-worn camera? See, I see you starting to sink in. This is English, not Portuguese, jackass. And, if, and if you keep speaking Portuguese, I'm going to keep thinking that you're just trying to disrespect me because my name is Rodriguez. Your name is Miles or something like that. And you keep trying to, uh, to, to slander and disrespect me with some foreign language that I don't understand. So, again, here I was just talking about a city council of Chief Vincent is destroying evidence, and your body-worn camera evidence is exactly what was destroyed. And I have proof in that same court case that that's the case that Ross lied on the stand. So here we have the same court case where Officer perjured himself, and then Chief Vincent destroyed evidence. Wow, it's all coming together now. See, I can see your little, uh, I can see that little peep. I see smoke coming out of your ears. You're starting to listen to what I'm saying. And again, it's your body-worn camera evidence that was destroyed. And September 18th, when we sit down and talk about the, uh, uh, the stalking charges that you called on a recorded line, you called me on a recorded line about Paul Stifler stalking and that you wanted to meet with me. Um, when we sit down and meet, I'm, I'm hoping you're going to have all of Paul Stifler's police reports that are involved from Boca Chica Yaco, and you'll see the continued lack of police activity in a serial criminal. And I'm also going to have uh, September 18th. I want to get all the Bonnie. I'm going to be. This is. Uh, well, I can make records requests at any time under Chapter 119 of Sunshine. I want all the all the information on the September 18th seizure of my dinghy by Officer Ross. That's where he perjured himself in court, and then, uh, and then Chief Vincent also destroyed the body-worn camera evidence that you had. Now, in that, in that body-worn camera evidence of Ross, these cuffs are killing me. These cuffs are killing me. These are torture cuffs is what they are. I can get on them. And now, what happened in that... 18th. It was two weeks right after I was released, the first arrest, when they sodomized me and brutalized me in prison. Two weeks later, and, and in that body worn camera when I was arrested, Officer Ross said, I am going to come and get your dinghy out of the mangroves. And that's what he did on the next arrest. And what ended up happening is he comes around, you and, and uh, Jer Janovich, I think is it? You and Janovich were in the parking lot and you were set up in a command position because you thought I had a weapon on me. You were told by, by we're going to find out who it was. You were told that, and we'll talk about that incident on September 19th. I'll bring the body worn camera. So when we sit down and talk, I want to talk about Paul Stifler and that. There's a lot of history between you and me. I also want to sit down and talk about that September 18th when you, Janovich, and Ross staged an instance and you brought me in the middle of it and you were claiming that I was armed and dangerous. Now what you three did, you and Janovich, you posted up in the parking lot and you set up for me to come because you knew I was going to come around. Now, under chapter, uh, here's the records request. I want all the, the, the communication, the CAD reports, and, and everything done to set up that command, uh, that you were setting up to shoot me in the parking lot. You were prepared to shoot me in the parking lot is what you were, you and Janovich, because of what Ross had just said over the body-worn camera. And, and then you destroying that body-worn camera is just telling how you're covering up your criminal activities. Because what you, Ross, and Janovitz did was you staged 
a, a situation to steal my dinghy unlawfully, then Ross lied about that particular instance in court, and then, then that evidence was destroyed. September 18th, 2019. That's, and you were involved, Miles. You were involved. See what's gonna come up is the multitude of evidence that keeps coming up with each and every police officer. Multitude of evidence. And I'm gonna let you know, I was brutalized, sodomized, victimized in that jail. You know that last time I was here, I told you that. And now you're taking me to that jail again. Is that correct? Are we going to the same jail? Are we going to the same jail? See, you were talking all, all whatever Portuguese bullshit before. Now you shut up because you know I'm right. You know I'm right. And I request this, this camera right here too because you know I'm right, Miles. And I would like to also talk to, uh, uh, what's his name? Jim, uh, Jim, the tall, thin black man that, uh, is, uh, that used to work with you in liaison. That's who I want to talk to. Yeah, because I used to come to your meetings. It was when I was having a problem with the Yacht Club. It was when I was having a problem with the Yacht Club. And, and, and in that meeting, I also talked about how the city manager is allegedly thieving money also. Now you're going to trespass me from... Now I knew you were going to trespass me from City Hall. I knew it! From via... For, uh, I knew you were going to do it. I knew you were going to trespass me from City Hall. That's why you were all in, the, in there, weren't you? You guys had every intention of catching me on the way out the door. Didn't you? See? I knew you guys were going to get trespass me from this uh, building, just like you did Jesse Lee. You know who Jesse Lee is? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you guys... You guys are just keep on keeping on. I was just telling how I'm suing the city and the police. And you end up in jail for telling you're going to sue the city and the police. Gotta love that. So am I gonna get uh, sodomized this time? Uh, either Officer Ross or Officer Cruz called down so that guy would brutalize me as soon as I got there. Are you gonna do that? I'm gonna make a request for all for I wanna I'm gonna make a request for you. I'm gonna be asking for your phone calls to make sure you don't call down to the jail. be able to get it because Chief Vincent is not is now denying all records requests about any police officers. How does that work? How can you d just keep denying records requests from 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 well, I guess if you just if you haven't ever had everything. That's good. So, you remember when uh, you, were, you and uh, Janovich were posting up to kill me? You remember that? You, Ross, and Jan Ross stole my dinghy, lied about it, you destroyed the evidence, and the evidence was of you guys posting up to kill me. That's what you were going to do. You're, you have now labeled me as sovereign citizen, anti-Leo, uh, armed and dangerous, which I am none of the above. I've never been any of the above. What we'll find out is that this is all a false narrative produced by Gulfport PD. False narrative. See, you were all talking earlier, all smart-ass, weren't you? And now that you're listening and you're realizing that I'm going to be getting all of your information on September 18th when you Ross and Janovich lied, destroyed evidence, covered up, perjured in court. You were involved in that. You were right in the middle of that. You remember? Go ahead, speak something out to me. Go ahead, be condescending to me right now. Go ahead, be disrespectful to my heritage. My name is Rodriguez, and that's why you're speaking some, some, some whatever you're speaking to me, because you're condescending 
uh, bully is what you are. And we're going to find out about September 18th when uh, Ross perjured, lied on court, and stole Mondangi. You were there. You were involved. You were involved. You were going to, you were setting up a command to kill me is what you were going to do. You were all waiting for me to come out there and you were going to, you all were ready and we're going to get that evidence and we're going to see if in fact you thought I was armed, dangerous, anti-Leo and we're going to find out where all of that came from. You know where it came from? You know where it came from? I have the police reports. Do you want to know? That's right. Shut your mouth. Once you realize that you work for the citizens of Gulfport, maybe then you'll start being respectful. You won't be destroying any more evidence. You have body-worn camera evidence that was destroyed. Destroyed at the same time the Gulfport PD was perjuring himself. The same instance. You were involved in it. And I'm gonna, I want to get, uh, and this is a records request for your, your CADs, your phone, all the communications involved in that September 18th uh, 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 unlawful theft of my venue. You understand Chapter 119, Sunshine Law Records Request? I know you can hear me because you were talking earlier. So under, I want you to understand. You, under 119 Sunshine Law, I can make the request with any government agent, and you will forward on that request. If you don't forward on my request for all of the communication on September 9th and that, that seizure by Officer Ross on September 18th, 19th, uh, it will be another violation of the records request. You understand that? Not to mention policy. You know what else we've come to uh, find out also uh, is that Chief Vincent has been destroying uh, police complaint forms. Would you like to comment on that? Go ahead, speak whatever lingo you were speaking. Was that pig Latin? Or was that pignorance? Which one was it? Or was that a Uvalde code word? You know what Uvalde syndrome is, right? That's right. See, I, I got you to stop all your smart aleck little remarks. And you're listening for my records request, and now you're also understanding that Chief Vincent is destroying records. He's destroying evidence. So your body one camera is a perfect example of that. I hope you go in and see if you can find that evidence. Because all the records were made in a timely fashion. And you were on body worn camera, look at Officer Ross's, you're saying straight up, I'm going to turn off my camera, okay? And Officer Ross gave that, that shitty little thumbs up that he used to always do. And why did Officer Ross leave? Because he was a man that couldn't uh, muster, that's why. He was a, a weak hire by Chief Vincent that couldn't make sergeant, that was his problem. He came out on the water and tried telling everybody he was the new sheriff in town. He was a clown. It's a good thing he got rid of him. Matter of fact, I'm going to start requesting all of your uh, uh, evaluation reports. That's a good idea. I'm going to see uh, uh, why you're not a sergeant yet. What evaluation what complaints you had. But you know what the problem is? Is I can't get them. Because Chief Vincent destroys and he won't answer these records. And why do we have a records clerk if Chief Vincent is going to be uh, 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 doing all the records? And why is Andy Salzman going over the city attorney reviewing all the records requests? I have a lot of Andy Salzman's invoices too. <laughs> I got a good one for you, uh, Miles. I got a good one for you. I got a real good one for you. This is through records request that that off the, that uh, that lying criminal Vincent can't destroy or cover up. You ready? Oh, I see you nodding. So yeah, you're listening. Good. I've got who is the whose name is mentioned the most in all of the last two years of 
city attorney invoices. Make a guess. One individual's name is mentioned more than any other person in all of the uh, city attorney invoices. You know who? Chief Vincent. He must be mentioned 72 times, I'm guessing. I'm, I'm still adding them up. Chief, why is Chief Vincent's name all over in the, in the police department? Can you tell me what happened to the lawsuit? Uh, that, uh, that, uh, uh, Officer Smith sued the city of Gulfport? Oh, there you go, you condescending prick. You're a condescending prick is what you are. You're trying to cover up my, uh, speaking because I'm now going to talk about how, uh, Chief Vincent and the police force are all over the, the, uh, city attorney's, uh, invoices. And why? Uh, Officer Burkhart sued Chief Vincent. Why did Officer Smith sue Chief Vincent? Turn up the volume, jackass. And why did Officer Ross sue Chief Vincent? So I got three police officers that have sued Chief Vincent here in the last uh, year, two years, I guess. Is there a problem with the police uh, department? See, that's why I'm in jail right now, is because you guys can't handle the truth. Ferran is also uh, mentioned in there quite often. And did she shoot her uh, her partner in the foot? Oh, I, I got another good one. How about covering up the Chief Vincent's DUI? I can, I can talk over that radio, you jackass. There you go. Now, let's talk about uh, Chief Vincent's DUI. What do you know about that one? I made a records request for the police report involving Chief Vincent's DUI when he wrecked his motorcycle after the veterans affair. I, I look forward to getting this video because I'll be bringing it to my court uh, to uh, show uh, what the retaliation is about. And when you have a pattern in practice of retaliation after you make complaints, it's called a, a when you have a pattern in practice repeated over and over again, it turns into a, it's labeled a systematic issue. And what I'll be bringing forward is a systematic issue. If Gulfport PD attacking me whenever I come forward with complaints about Mr. O'Reilly, Ms. Chief Vincent, and it's a systematic problem, and it just keeps happening, and I can document it directly and immediately. The detentions. I've been detained now four times. Um, every instance that I have in a complaint has happened within 400 yards of my front door. What I'm trying to tell you is this all happened in my home, in my community. All these attacks by you, both the Sega Yacht Club. You know, I gave multiple uh, cease and desist and no trespassing to Yacht Club members, and they still ignored it and violated me. And I thought I could work with my Gulfport PD when I realized that didn't happen. So I started in 2017 making all of my communications via email. So every one of my communications is now via email. Every one of my police reports, every one of my things is now. And what I like, and what I've been up there Charlie, speaking at the city council about is how Chief Grayson, I can't get the emails about Ray Rodriguez from the city manager because he's covering something up. I can't get emails about Ray Rodriguez from the city attorney because they're covering up information. And, and if you look at the records request that I made with the police department, Chief Vincent is just a joke. You know, Chief Vincent supposedly has a master's degree in writing, but if you look at the uh, records request that I made for my emails, you'll see a, a, a jackass trying to uh, double word bullshit. Read my records request if you don't believe me. And when I get a copy, of, and I'll bet you're going to destroy this evidence too. I'll bet, this, I'll bet these two cameras are going to be destroyed because you don't want the truth getting out either, Miles. Because when, when a good cop sees a bad cop breaking the law, he's not a good cop anymore. How many Gulf Court cops have turned in other cops? And what I have also is evidence of lying. Right, Charlie. Everybody come forward. Uh -huh.
There's a change. There's a change coming, my friend. I hope you're on the right side of it. And when my evidence comes forward, you're going to be standing there. You're already uh, witnessing my last one for resisting. Apparently, uh, for saying fuck you to a cop, that's called resisting now. That's what it. That's what I just saw the evidence. He'll be dropping that charge also. Or, if they don't drop the charge, I'll see you in court. And you'll get to answer the questions there, Miles. You'll either drop the charges or you'll be in court. You're already on the court papers as a witness. And you couldn't even remember. You're saying something about it's Tuesday. Whatever that means. So you're just using condescending bullshit. And then you started using whatever uh, pig language you were using or pignorance that you were using at me earlier. Trying to be a smart ass, then you realize that I do have something to say, and there might be something that you could listen to. I've seen you nod your head a couple of times, like you understand, you know. So, again, Jim, uh, I'm going to share this video with Jim Wright also. Uh, now, I'm going to throw another date at you that I've already talked to uh, Commander Stone about January 30th, 2019. That's the first time the police came and escorted me out of Boca Chica Yacht Club. January. That's the first time three police officers were used for club policy for no violation of law. No more. Oh, yeah. When you see a pattern in practice, then it is a systematic issue. And if you start looking at at my records request, my police reports, you'll see a pattern of practice and a systematic thing. I'll be bringing this evidence forward. There's a crooked lion, Chief Vincent, right there in front of us. He will not release. When I first started asking for video evidence two years ago, I don't think he had ever released any. You know, why do they make this thing so small back here? I damn, I'm all cramping up. I'm getting a fucking cramp in my leg right now. water. I'm sweating my ass off. You know what you guys are famous for. Can I ask, do you have any water in the car? Do, do you have any water in the car? Do you have any water in the car? Hello? You are all in September 18th. Your evidence was destroyed. You're part of that problem. I want all of your uh, CADs and your police and your telephone calls from that day when you destroyed your body-worn camera evidence. You destroyed your evidence. And I have it. You said